What's up dudes, it's CT13 and welcome back to another video. And today we are doing my first ever trailer breakdown and analysis. Now, some of you may know, or maybe all of you know this by now, but uh, last night, because I'm recording this a day before you guys will get it, last night Godzilla King of the Monsters had a TV spot during the NBA All-Star Game. And instead of just showing us the same footage as they did, they put out a lot of... Er, much, a lot of new footage, but not enough to spoil anything. But, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this TV spot, so hopefully you all did too. If not, I'm going to play it right now. So this first little bit here is just a van slowly driving on what it looks to be a desert road, not expecting anything. This may be in Arizona, really. Uh, that's also on an outpost in the Monarch Sciences website, I believe. And then, as you can see here, there's a hard cut. And what's weird about that hard cut is it looks like it's video footage that messed up, and we'll get into that a little bit later, but as you can see, the oil rigs do suddenly move, and then uh, we'll get into it in the next little scene, but I believe that this is a Monarch truck carrying stuff, and we'll get into that a little bit later also. And here is that hard cut I was talking about, and as you can see, something breaks through the ground, and this may further confirm that this is a scorpion, because it appears that a tail was the first thing to come out, and then legs followed it afterwards. And then you can see something else popping out that could be a claw, while this truck is trying to get away, and as you can see, there is a monarch symbol on that side of that truck. And then, of course, we get here, that's the only clip. Which, the whole thing about this trailer is that there can only be one king, so that's the start of it. And then, as the only clip fades away, it's nice, peaceful mountains, which then another hard clip with the video glitch effects happens. And which then, it starts to move just like before, and it's taking a while, but as you can see, it changes, and then something starts to appear out of the ground, which is a slightly prolonged clip from what we saw in the last trailer of the mystery monster, which it appears to have a head with a giant spike on it, and then again it cuts to some more of that security footage as this mystery monster rises up and opens its eye, and as you can notice, it looks like it has horns on the front of it due to the shadows and in the bottom left corner you can see a monarch outpost and then i can't read it but it's in germany and so after this clip i'll show you germany the outpost it could be and uh, of course here we have one talking about how there can only be one king and after i looked it up on the monarch sciences website i have pinpointed which monarch outpost this is and i'll be posting that image right now and you may be wondering well how do we know it's this outpost i then proceeded to look it up on google maps which it is munich germany and here's what you get if you look that up and i'll put the picture up right now and as you can see it's pretty much in the exact same spot as that monarch outpost is now granted it's slightly off because we don't know where the outpost is but i'm 99 percent sure that that is the outpost that that creature is from. Maybe we, Monarch Sciences will finally release what that outpost is. And then these next two scenes we should know because we've seen these before in the other trailers. Of course, Millie Bobby Brown potentially looking up at Godzilla. And then the Monarch base in Mexico exploding in which it is unleashing Rodan. And as you can see here, then it cuts to the people screaming as the volcano explodes, but then it starts to degrade into something else. And then the city dissolves into this fiery flame from the volcano, which as you can see, a giant claw, bigger than a battleship, falls down, and it is burning hot with lava as people run away. And then, of course, you have the title 
card can be king. Now it's saying only one can be king, saying that lots of monsters will be fighting for the title of King of the Monsters in this movie, which is a hint towards the theory that Ghidorah is the King of the Monsters and Godzilla will be taking back his crown of King of the Monsters. And then after the Can Be King title card, you get Millie Bobby Brown and Vera Farmiga's character staring into what I believe is Mothra, and then it cuts to the money shot of Godzilla using his atomic breath and firing it up into the sky, which seems very significant in all these trailers and TV spots so far. And as for why I think it's Mothra, as you can see on the image here, it looks like you can see her reflection in the glass, you see her two eyes and her mouth. However, she, Vera Farmiga's character does say, his time has come, and it's weird that they would be calling Mothra he when she is a she. So, it could be potentially King Ghidorah, because we know she does help release it on the planet. And after she says it, you hear the Showa Godzilla roar, which it's hard to hear it playing at regular speed, but right here I'll play it to you at about... 0.5% speed. And then after that, it cuts to an awesome scene of Rodan versus Ghidorah. Lightning starting on Ghidorah's side and then going on the Rodans. And then as they slowly come together, uh, it is really on both of them. And then after that, you get the scene we saw before of Godzilla and Ghidorah converging, but that Rodan and Ghidorah scene looks awesome, and I imagine, as I said in my video that was speculating Rodan turning to a good guy is, either A, he will die, or B, he will realize he can't be Ghidorah by himself, and then he will join up with Mothra and Godzilla. And then to wrap up this TV spot, the uh, as I said before, it looks like security footage quality then blurs into Godzilla King of the Monsters, and then it says see the full trailer online. However, I think they're talking about the second trailer and the first trailer and not an actual final trailer, because as of this recording, like I said, still hasn't came out officially online. But I do find it interesting the announcer says Godzilla and not Godzilla King of the Monsters. Kind of disappointed in that, but oh well. And of course he says rated PG-13, and that's the end of the trailer. So what did you think of this TV spot? Did you enjoy it? I quite liked it. I do enjoy the marketing they have for this movie. Comment down below what your thoughts of this TV spot are. And uh, thanks for watching. And as always... Don't let King Kong make a monkey out of you, G-Fans. See ya.